Yeah, I found this the other day. I'm just debating on uh, scrapping it or not. It says it works fine. It's a washing machine, but it looks like it's in nice shape. I found that chair. The chair is aluminum. Easy to strip. Just unravel that on the bottom there. Should be clean. So I'm not sure yet. I don't know what to do about this one yet. I don't know how, believe how heavy it is. Holy smokes. It's gonna be the other side of it or something. Like some are heavy, but this one is really, really heavy. See all this grease is from my car. But it looks like it's totally brand new. heavy I just don't know what to do it says it works perfectly so be ashamed to break it or scrap it if it works so I'm decided yet what I'm gonna do with that one steel these hoses even came with it too see maybe one broke before and then they bought a, a match pair after right That's kind of what people do sometimes I didn't realize this was aluminum because it seems so heavy. But you know, it's, it's a heavy, kind of like a cast one. Okay, two inspections to do. They're side by side. My buddy's working there already, so I'm gonna head out there right now. I got one pickup. A little bit of roofing flashing, not a lot. So my roofing guy calls me once in a while, so I'll pick that up too. Okay. Here's my pickup. A bunch of uh, rooftops. This is okay because this will go nicely um, in my metal load I have the other day. Sounds like they might be working here. Piece of lead here. Does way up a little bit of weight. Hey, hey how you doing? Very good. Thanks a lot, huh? No problem. So very hot today, huh? Uh, no, over here, okay, so oh, a little bit of shade. You're lucky, huh? Yeah, it's good today. Yeah, that's good. We on the side. Hey. Uh, we already. Oh, perfect, perfect. Thank you.
Okay, let me load the rest here. Make it so we're not spending too much time on one thing here. Spend more time on maybe the inspection or something. I see something sitting in the corner there. It could be the fridge or something. I'll have to check it out in a minute. Okay. A bunch of free stuff here. Monitors. Free. Gonna squawk about some free stuff. Get that thing would be good. There's room here. Hmm. Come back later. It's a little heavy. I'm at my destination. So I sell through a bunch of junk coats, so I'm gonna grab a uh, baby gate. It's all metal. Cheers here. Hmm. Might be aluminum. Don't seem too heavy. Steel. Tour of the house shortly. Looks like they're older, older type houses. That one's another the other house there too. So there's two houses here. It's actually three, but people haven't moved out of one. 
which I'm not sure it's that one or not, but okay. I'll let you know in a second. Very, very old home here. I'm thinking at least 1930s or older. I had old porch in front that got closed in, as you can see from here. Had a roof, I guess, went over it, but it was closed, got closed in later. Um, old, old house. Uh, a few treasures kicking around, not too bad. Uh, we'll do a little bit of tour. It's an old light fixture here. Old bench here. Older bench. Light fixture looks like an old one. Yeah, it's been damaged. Oh yeah, it's an old one for sure. There are cameras everywhere, but I don't see the source. The cameras, but there was cameras everywhere. This one here. Is the uh, closed? How do I get in the office? Okay. This one is like an office, or I think it was an artist studio, because there's some artist stuff around, kick around here. So, is that a monitor in here? Empty. Okay, well this is the addition here added on. Just gonna make a note of the light fixtures. So make a note here of just a couple things, so bear with me. So this is the one area. <clears throat> Spider webs everywhere. So old barn in the back. We'll explore that after, but we're looking uh, in the yard for now. So what we're doing is taking samples for asbestos. These buildings are being torn down. There's two in a row. Actually, three here, but two are available. This is the other one over there. And it's an acreage here. They're probably condos here. So there's a nice Japanese maple, a little pond in here. Some sort of shed here. Well, it's a hot tub area. Lots of paint cans. Okay, so normally I would just wouldn't write nothing down here, but it's such a big property. So big little tubs there, pickaxe. Maybe some cool, cool treasures here, possibly. Here's the yard. Well, must might be good to Meltec this yard. Probably a lot of history here. This could have been a, a boarding home or something or a roadhouse. This looks a bit older than this one, I think. A little bit older style. Okay. Just don't know what the history that was here, right? It's got a huge barn. We'll get to that one after. <clears throat> Can't miss nothing in these jobs. You gotta check every little thing, every nook and cranny. It's actually on the roof line here. A weather vane there, but it's all broken. Okay, let's go upstairs, the back door. Oh, he said my, my worker was telling me. There's something stuff in there here too. This is the yeah. attic space. Spider webs. Oh, spider webs. Oh, Sony. That's a nice radio. Sony. That's that's a really nice radio. Just 
You never know what, what you find in these old homes. Keyboard. Oh, look at this. E-waste old computer. Wow, maybe two computers. Printer, but that's an old computer there. It's a PC1640 Double D. Sounds like my ex-girlfriend. Wow, pretty interesting. Let's grab the PC after. Hmm. I'll have to go through a little bit in better detail after, but it's hot in there. 30 plus degrees outside. So temperature's hot. Okay, so we're getting this is the kitchen area. It's been renovated. I think in the 70s, but just judging by what I can see, the style and so on. That's that porch I was telling you. It's actually a porch before. They put a look at the beam they stuck in here. Wow, 20 foot span, it's kind of crazy, but to span so this is your living room area there some speakers up here it was interesting to see what they were I feel like cheap ones but just never know okay here's some oh, attic spaces here Michael, huh? the attics up here could be treasures up there. Apparently, the person who lived here was an artist, so that's why there's weird stuff around here. Some artwork there. Well, they said that she painted this. Oh yeah, yeah. No, it's tiles, I think. See, this is the artwork they did on the ceiling, oh, well, which is kind, of, which is kind of goofy. But anyways, this is what it is. Here's your washroom area. Here's your artwork, a mermaid on the floor. Check this out, Michael. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll show you after. I think it's just eyelashes. It's in that container in the washroom there, on top of the thing. Oh yeah. Funky crystals here. Chandelier. Fairly big bedroom. It isn't hers closet kind of thing. Well, here's some of the treasures I found myself. Are we found? That's a rock tumbling polishing kit. Video games. Matchbox cars. They're kind of like mixed. And then there's just farm toys and video games. Video is Atari. Some Atari games. Baseball. That one there. Venture it says. Spitfire attack, Spitfire attack. These are the, the old Atari mouse trap. Mirror world. Here's an orange crush ball to clear. Kind of cool. A couple game players. Some just odds and ends. Nothing high end, but stuff that just were taken. Here's another bedroom here. Those three or four bedrooms on this level here. It's kind of maybe in the, this is the added building bedroom, maybe I'm not sure. What's this thing here? Okay. Another bedroom here. It's funny how they kind of small bedrooms. Okay, so we're gonna head down. That's the upstairs. The cameras in their house. It's kind of weird how they get a camera right there. Oh, the oil cans. Look at that. Oil can lamps. Different, huh? Motor oil. Let me pull these out. Oh, 
מלבד. לגופי בל. That's so extra to them. It's still going to be sellable just because people like oil cans in general. Let's look at the Sony radio again. Back appears to be loose. Some better lighting. Kind of cool to get an old PC. Kind of cool about that. Now it's got one little crack at the side here. Sony, probably a collector. Found a Sony radio. Hey? Sony radio. Yeah. You seen it? Sony Too bad it's cracked, they're really collectible. If it wasn't damaged, it's probably worth about 40 bucks. See these here? The oil cans and their lights hang in the closet. Oh, okay. Different, huh? Genius, eh? Yeah. Okay. okay no, um, let me go downstairs and take a better look. We'll show you what downstairs had nice fancy kind of a... Uh, I guess that's why they put a night here. They kind of like old door. <laughs> nice little... Hmm. So they took old lumber, probably homemade. <laughs> Possibly. Or it could be like refinished or something. Solid door, very heavy. Hit banger right there. Okay, so we're into, uh, I guess, laundry area. You have to look at everything in this house. Is... Always people forget stuff, forget stuff, or leave good stuff behind. Never know. Ooh, look at that. That's nice. It's a chrome one. It's got the mantle, everything working. Look at that. It's going to be dated. If I could check the date on the bottom. Can't see nothing. It's blinding me, but usually there, there is a date on these things, but that's kind of cool. Collectible. So there's stuff. People do leave stuff behind. Some kind of alcohol here too. Balls. Problem is a lot of rat infestation. Okay, let's move on to the next room. Old fridge. Couple fridges. You always have to look up and down behind doors and little voids. You know, sometimes these flashing here could be a could be an old sign, tin sign sometimes, right? Never know. Look how low this. This is kind of cool here. Easy bake oven, plastic. So my kid wanted one of these for years when she was a baby. So we got her one, and she made made us uh, some uh, cupcakes. They actually work. The other one, that's plastic. Look at this. The London and Liverpool Piano Ford Company, Liverpool. Wow. That's cool, away right from England. Who should find American ones more? Look for treasures down there, see no treasures, see. Okay, we're under this back porch now. It's a shower room, oh. It's a shower room, so maybe there was a shower here? No. Oh, it opens, look at that. It's a sauna. I would have never knew. Spider webs everywhere. Drive me crazy. No old vintage signs, nope. Well, I would have never knew that if I didn't read that sign. Looked like just a back door. Okay, you're gonna kind of love this. It's a little pot. Cast aluminum. Oh, that's old. It's a Tiger whiskey. That's an ancient bottle. Could be like turn of century. We dug lots of these before. Ah, let's see what's in here. It's taped up pretty good. Oh. Well, 
cool too. Okay, it's, I don't know where it is. Oh, it's a dead rat right there. Gross. Okay. This is kind of a nice little wood burner. Okay, in here there's lots of little odds and ends and treasures and different things, but it's so rat infested, it stinks so bad. We, we, we fished stuff out of here already, so I'm pretty satisfied. Christmas stuff in here, old old uh, uh, canning jars and stuff, but nothing nothing that great. Bunch still full. Oh, here's an old bottle here. I didn't even notice this. Sometimes you gotta go back three, four times because you miss stuff. This bottle here. Second to none. That's an old uh, soda pop, probably from the 60s. Hmm. It's a boring one, anyways. Probably 60s. Vernon, BC. Okay. This person had a lot of unpainted stuff. Oh, gnomes are actually pretty fun. People like gnomes. Might give that to my buddy Dan. He might like that. But uh, this place, they did a lot of uh, weird, weird stuff here, like a lot of pots and stuff. I don't know who made the molds or what they were doing here, but they're unpainted fish. Firing one third price off green. Maybe they were had a, they were teaching here, maybe. And where you you know you grabbed an item and you painted it. That's why it's one third price off. Glasses, dollar, coffee, 25. So they actually had, it might have been a club. It's an old table here. But he said, legs, legs are all cracked apart. It's too bad. Very old table. So they must have did some art classes here. Some more bottles there. Some chalkware. I thought my buddy was going to grab that. There's chalkware. It's probably collectible. collectible. So I guess you can make lamps and paint things. Here's your thing. You just ro rotated your stuff around. Oh yeah, you did sanded stuff. Another one there. So you just never know what these houses lead to, right? You find cool stuff. The hell is this? Sensor it. Hmm. Weird stuff around here, I'll tell ya. What are these things here? Hmm. It's like a hobo. A backpacker. Dog. I mean, to buy these, they're not cheap either, right? Even though they're probably, they're made in China probably, but they're not, not cheap to buy them. Then you have to paint them, right? There's a bowl down here. But the glazes are kind of cheap, like, they weren't fired, they're just like over glazes or something. Hmm. That's it, I guess, on this. Check out the furnace area. There's a gun rack here, which is kind of cool. See the gun rack? Old piano. Hmm. So I'll tell you, these jobs are interesting. You just never know what the next one leads to. You get lucky sometimes and find cool stuff. Let me keep the bowl here, I kind of like that. So that's exactly what they were doing. They were doing, it was an art, they had art classes here. Painting and stuff, and they must have had possibly a kiln here. And they maybe fired on the kiln and they fired glaze on there, possibly. Hard to say. Okay, that's, this is one house. Okay, stay tuned.
found here. I got Zenith's complete system, a monitor and computer, double floppies, and keyboard. It's a Zenith, Zenith keyboard. You can see the color of the plastic just, I don't know, it looks like it aged, I guess, unless it's the color, I can't tell. Here's another one, PC, CD, PC1640, double floppies, double D, matching keyboard, looks like the monitor's matching too, total matching system here. Oh, I don't see no, no cards in there, so I'm not sure what's going on. Could have been all stripped out already, but we'll have to see. Or they could be just the expansion cards that aren't there. He even has a paper here for the floppy. Wow, look at that, huh? Somebody would love this stuff here. This stuff is probably... Probably not going to strip these, I don't think. I think clean them up. Take a better look at it, see what they are. See if there's someone interested in these. PC1640. Monitor. Computer. Keyboard. Here's a printer. It's probably going to be crap, I think. It says... Seiko... Sikusha. Never heard of this printer. SP 1600 AI. Artificial intelligence. Wow, look at that. That's the oldest computer I've ever found so far to date. Well, I could have found old ones before I didn't pay attention to, but since I've been picking up computer stuff. Hmm. This one is kind of a built into thing. This one comes off pops off a separate console see that wow that's a treat or in half I'll tell you I'm gonna open up and see later take it in my car that's why I want to carefully not damage these put it in my car and then I determine there's another keyboard here it looks like it was in a box I'm not sure what that one is and some of these keyboards are really valuable they're switches like People like the old old style keyboards because they sound cool and I guess I don't know. Is that the old keyboard sound? Hmm. 1640 it says uh Am Straight. I can't tell. It's a 60, 640K personal computer. I just wonder if this is uh, almost like, you know how they had uh, um, all these different video games came out and they bought these computer lines. Is that a computer line or is this an actual PC that they made? Before, you know, don't know. 1640 almost sounds like, a, like, an, almost like an Atari. Hmm. Korea. Just can't see anything too good here. I don't know why. Okay. Still uh, awesomely cool. Okay, I want to show you. Oh, the frogs! Frogs jumping. They're small, but lots of frogs in this little pond. This is probably a really nice landscape. The one time, look at the trees. Japanese maples, really nice. Let's go look at the barn. Big barn in the back here. Take a big visual for now. Wow, it's an old barn. I don't think they didn't lock it up or nothing. This property sold for three million. The two houses. Uh, it's pretty lots of acreage I think I still don't know where the exact that looks like it's fenced over there not sure how big this one is but definitely a big piece of land there's things out here like something they did those cars out here too oil Car way buried out there. Ten 
containers. I just don't know where this guy's land goes. Exactly, there's a peg over here. Could be the end of the property line here, maybe. Maybe here. It could be someone else's land, that one there. Old Ford truck. It was a service truck. Can't see nothing with sun. Huh. There's a property line here of some sort, right here. Check the barn out quickly. There's another camera in that barn looking out. It's really hot today. It seems like something dead right around here. Some kind of wild animal could be in here even. Who knows? It really stinks out here. It could even be a bear around here, how would you even know? Maybe no one comes here. Yeah, it stinks like, not hard to see, like a fish or something. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it really stinks. Could be, could be fertilizer too. It stinks like that. There's a freezer cracked open there. Electric fence, it's like a cattle thing. Hmm. Pretty, pretty bad here. Sometimes you find. Hey, what are you doing? Just got a shit of me, man. What are you doing? Well, you're sleeping all your stinks out here, man. I know. I brought a hammer just in case. You know, you never know. Fucking, there's always someone hanging around here. No, I just, I just ran into him again. Oh yeah. The old, old guy sold it already, huh? Yeah, it's just, this is gonna be developed. You lived around here before? Yeah, I lived like, put a trailer up back over there. Oh, okay. I smelled something dead around here and I saw you like that. Holy fuck, it's a dead body, right? <laughs> like, what the hell? Yeah, I just gotta chill out. Plus, some neighbors around here, so Oh, yeah. Well, oh. It's, it's a good thing, but it's just. Yeah, I no problem. We're doing a survey for asbestos, huh? We're taking asbestos samples. Alright. Yeah, so they're gonna be tearing the building down, right? There's three involved in this whole project here. This wasn't mobile? Yeah, I found some copper in a fire. Sitting in the yard here. Probably about uh, 20 pounds of copper. Maybe more. It's heavy duty. It's like irrigation, but broken. Okay. That's yeah, pretty freaky seeing that guy hanging around in there. Just don't know what people are doing around or what they're up to. It's hiding like that guy, but. That's why I was going to anywhere with a hammer. Some comes near me. Hit first, ask questions later, right? Especially if they come approach you. Okay, we're gonna go to the next house just next door. 
Okay, stay tuned. Okay, here's the second hose. I'm not sure if I can show you the whole hose, but I just want to show you how this weird, weird layout is here. The bedroom here. If we're in the attic space, you can see where all the uneven areas are and slopes and curbs and all that. Hmm. Kind of bizarre. That's the old windows here. Look at that. That's a cute window here. Sealed up. Hmm. I don't know how I could sell them up here. It's hot too and smuggy. Hmm. Okay, here's the attic. I'll show you probably the other areas maybe. We'll see. The next level is not so bad. The basement's just multiple rooms, room after room basically, but nothing special. Okay. One bedroom here. This is a strange layout. You gotta go through a very narrow hallway and a stairway to get to the attic. Well, you can even bring a dresser up here, it's so small. Quite the layout. The room here. Hmm. So got a washroom here. Kind of modernized. Let's got the old claw tub. That's a claw tub here. Most likely in here. It's a long one, it's probably a six footer. Yeah, I bet you this it's a claw tub. He's built a frame around it. Laundry chute. Another bedroom. Kitchen area. This is kind of nice right here. I like the clock section here. It's kind of cool. Hmm. And here's the porch. It's a big backyard. That's the house next door that we tested. They took an old heritage house and they put stucco and everything on it and kind of wrecked the look up. But they put some, maybe some renovations in, maybe some additions here and there, I guess, possibly. There's a staircase down to the living room. No fireplace. Well, porch. Original porch, and may have the stairs going that way at one time, possibly. Right? This could have been a possible front door. Yeah, no fireplace. We'll check drawers like this. You always leave stuff behind if you have drawers here, too. I never knew this drawer. Okay, well, that's it. Downstairs, just a bunch of rooms, nothing special. I stand half these windows, they don't even open. How do you get air in this house? Oh, it doesn't open. It's a problem. How can you live like this? No fresh air. Okay. Uh, the outside of the house, nothing special. I just wanted to show you. We're uh, packed up, ready to go. I'll show you the basement here. Most of the char old characters gone. No storage area. Living room. Pretty weird layouts here. I think we got a vinyl floor here, Phil. Oh, yeah? But, okay, well, let's double check it. Washroom here. There's another bathroom. Bedroom. So two bedrooms down here. Back door area. Okay.
kitchen, possibly, maybe at one time. A little storage area. Okay, well that's it. Not much in this house. Okay.